Danny Gonzalez has an army and Heliophobian has a few water guns. Oh, okay, well, what the actual f*** are you doing here? Surely as a massive army, you, you could, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe solve a war in Ukraine, go fight in Gaza or something, if you have some deeply held views on it. Not so leaving a bunch of dislikes on the 400 subscriber channel, or just if I... Welcome back to Heliophobia and everyone. I'm the individual who commentates this hellscape and for the next 14 or 15 minutes you're gonna see more stuff exactly like that because on the video you probably didn't miss because it's the second most popular on my channel now. On the 13th of June 2024 I uploaded a video with a slightly hyperbolic title Danny Gonzalez's pathetic apologizes to Twitter and Reddit over Starbucks Cup and it's exactly what the title says. In the video I criticized commentary YouTuber and former Vine star Danny Gonzalez who has a fan base of over 5 million people. After apologizing in a controversy at the end of May 2024 for the sin of drinking from a Starbucks cup and not even that because he wasn't like showing it off and intentionally promoting it he literally just had it in the background. I obviously also criticized the fans who forced him into doing that because their anger at Starbucks and does Danny Gonzalez for allegedly being personally responsible for a genocide was based on blatant misinformation mainly the fact that Starbucks hasn't had an Israeli store since 2003 has never even paid them tax once to the best of my knowledge and third their October 2023 lawsuit against the Starbucks workers united union was not solely because they voiced support for Palestinians even though that still has nothing to do with union activities but more because they literally voiced support for Hamas by reposting a video of them during the October 7th attacks with positive slogans whilst having a logo similar to Starbucks which caused a lot of confusion and loads of protests my overall point was the commenters were uneducated and making extreme accusations over a menial thing and it wouldn't even matter even if the Israeli military was being funded in some form especially when all those commenters were probably on f***ing mobile phones made by child slaves in the minds. What's my point against Danny was that he kept trying to be a vanilla tuber who tries to please everyone which ends up being to his peril because he ends up apologizing for things that he really shouldn't need to. It puts him under a load of stress and he also comes out with extremely uneducated takes just for the fear of offense. Obviously I was far from the only person who talked about the subject and, and espoused a similar opinion which was really common sense to be fair but unfortunately my water gun army was no match for the RDF who came in instant defense of Danny many of whom hadn't even watched the video and were still insisting that Danny was from a genocide and that me by defending it was also defending a genocide and they killed me and here's some of the best of the worst comments on there at benji moves writes you gotta remember that danny is diagnosed with an anxiety disorder this probably felt like it could have been the end of his career for him especially because of the fact that his whole youtube channel is based off trapping on other people sorry yeah p p o p and they drink some of dr p o p second most popular drink in the u.s now <laughs> anyway back to the actual point this person's making to be fair i don't know if danny gonzalez does have any anxiety issues but i mean based on the way he was quaking in his boots over apologizing over a mexican slur he said as a mexican in context as in he was reading a quote of what someone said to someone else uh, i mean i guess it isn't unreasonable to assume that i don't want to hurt people okay so i'm sorry um i feel I feel like a doofus crying because it's not um not about me I mean, hopefully he's getting some good help. One thing that I've been really trying to focus on lately are my feelings of not being good enough. And that's why I'm really excited that today's video is sponsored by Better. Oh, I, I see where the issues are coming from. But anyway, regardless, even if he did have anxiety and he was bored of like the Nigahiga style skits and chose to move on to commentary, I don't see how it's anyone else's fault except his own if he's coming into commentary and is scared of being criticized because he's literally doing the same to other people as well and should expect it and that's what fair use exists for. And regardless, what would you rather have? A 10 minute mostly evidence based video on why you didn't need to apologize for anything or thousands of uneducated children calling you child murderers? Yeah, personally, I, I take the bear. At Wild is cool, right? That's just Danny's nature. I assume that's in response to my comments in the video where I was discussing how Danny Gonzalez is like some vanilla tuber who tries not to offend anyone whatsoever, which you know it is impossible to do. He also says, Oh, so why are you beefing with him over an apology? Like, bro, he already said sorry. I, I, I <laughs> I, I don't know if you missed the entire point of the video. It was basically evidence saying that the apology was factually and also morally like unneeded. And secondly, again, I'm not beefing it. It's just a one-off video where I spend most of the time attacking the uneducated fans who pressured him into apologizing in the first place over a massive non-issue. I'm not going to make like 10,000 videos on Danny Gonzalez. Until I actually feel like he's done something wrong. Maybe it's a 
SoundCloud or something. To be fair, I'm pretty sure 99% of you understood that as like a hypothetical. But I guess I have to explicitly flag it here. Because if you couldn't already tell, I don't think any of these individuals I'm reading comments from today understand context. That's probably why they make their favourite YouTubers cry. Over quoting swear words said by an employer in an employment abuse case. <laughs> At Mr. Bojangles 3712 says The reason why you have barely 400 subscribers is because you suck <laughs> Be a great new Marvel superhero they might uh, say VMCU And literally nobody wants to watch your content. You say that whilst the Danny Gonzalez video has an over 11% CTR and all but two other videos I've uploaded on this channel have multitudes more views than the amount of subscribers I had when I uploaded the video. People mess up sometimes that you acting like you're perfect doesn't make you perfect. I've never said I'm perfect. And apologising for messing up doesn't make you a monster. Hey, again, did you miss the entire point of the video? I said he didn't mess up by bloody buying Starbucks. He has the right to buy whatever the hell he wants, even if it did support Israel. And, and the fact is that uh, it, it, it didn't. Anyway, let's continue. I'd love it if you stopped making content, <laughs> and I think most people would agree with that. Firstly, uh, over 7 billion people have still not watched a heliophobian video in their lives, so you, you don't know that. And secondly, that is so contradictory. On one hand, you're saying that apologising for messing up once doesn't make you a monster. But because I made one bad video out of the 16 commentary videos I've made so far, and this one so far is the only one you've taken issue with, you then tell me to go and quit YouTube. <laughs> what happened to saying it? Uh, Apologising for messing up doesn't make him, doesn't make you a monster. I mean, I mean, people mess up sometimes. I, I don't think I messed up in this video, but uh, people mess up sometimes. That doesn't mean they have to stop making videos. <laughs> at BitQ1 with a dot at the end for some reason. There's, I am in aura. How stupid people are. And uh, just for clarification, I'm referring to heliophobia. I feel I have to say that based on the video and some of the comments you have replied to. <laughs> It's a YouTube comment section, I'm not taking it that seriously. I'm not going to be writing like entire essays in response. At least with a video, I can somewhat justify putting in some effort to the responses because uh, I am getting something out of it. There's no point in like defending yourself in the comment section against people who firstly don't know you, secondly don't like you, and thirdly will probably, thirdly even a word, and third probably won't even watch a video from me again. And I mean if they subscribe to Danny Gonzalez's world views. The content on this channel is probably their 9-11. YouTube, I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to show any 9-11 footage in that show. Get a terrorism strike and then have to move channels again. <laughs> at A underscore restarted guy types. People just get mad at everything now. I'm talking about heliophobia. <laughs> uh, again, this is genuinely hilarious. The fact that all these people probably know that the comments are so vague that they could just as easily apply to the people I'm talking about in the Danny Gonzalez video that they have to explicitly say that they're referring to me and not the people I'm making fun of in the video. Also, I promise you neither me or any other commentary YouTuber who makes videos on particular subjects are actually mad or that emotionally invested in something. If it worked like that, why don't you ask Danny Gonzalez why he's obsessing over children? Like Lil Tay, is he a pedophile? Uh, again, that was a true. But now because it's the second time in this video, I'm gonna get like 15,000 comments accusing me of projecting. Being there done that, I know what you're gonna say, so it eliminates all comedic value in your comments. <laughs> At Zooted Cat writes, I'm sorry, but you just sound jealousy. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, I mean, your uh, spelling surely isn't. <laughs> and, and secondly, no, I'm really not jealous of him, I promise you. I don't envy anyone who has the subscriber base of Danny Gonzalez. I mean, the fanatics in his comment section coming to mind and writing all of this. I think that illustrates a point on why I don't want subscribers like this to <laughs> Townsend writes, People will really just do anything for attention, huh? I, again, he has to clarify it's about me. Do you think when people were rounded up into Auschwitz, they were all just given like a free pacifist? Said first that, oh, I, I condemn heliophobia. <laughs> And then I replied basically saying I never understood this argument saying I'm very sorry I uploaded a public YouTube video to get views, what could I do to repent for my sins? And then this pineapple profile picture guy goes uh, Stop being so dramatic may be hard for you It's a joke and I haven't committed a sin <laughs> I've never understood this argument saying oh, oh no you're doing this for attention and views There's a reason why the video's public <laughs> And I mean for as long as I don't lie in the video about the content And I don't lie, the title is like long but it's also descriptive It's a valid title but also, 
where you say that as if Danny Gonzalez doesn't put like photos of like popular people in his videos for views as well. Like here he puts a Willy Wonka experience in this video three months ago, popular event. Here in this video from a year ago, he doesn't really upload that often. So uh, st don't, don't bully me for taking like sparse examples. He has a video with a photo of a famous celebrity, Pedro Pascal. Here in this video titled The Hollywood's Biggest Player, he has Selena Gomez, he has Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah, I think I've presented enough examples to like uh, bring home my point. And yeah, I'm apparently the one who's going to so desperate for attention that I think it's owed to me that I will exploit the smallest controversies for attention that I clearly never got as a child. That's if I'm not still a child. I don't think attention is owed to my channel. That's literally sort of why I use a sort of clickbait titles. I have to earn the attention by a good thumbnails and titles. I've never said I'm owed anything. I'm not owed a career on here. I'm not even monetized. There's a reason why I've made like five or six different channels and this one seems to be going relatively well. I actually finished recording this video yesterday but there's a couple of comments I also felt like responding to whilst I cut out some others that I felt wouldn't be entertaining for the video. So I guess here we are on OBS. The first comment I want to respond to is by at the fire giver on YouTube who writes attacking a highly popular YouTuber with a borderline fanatical fanbase for a simple apology is not an advisable move. Although I do get the point they're trying to make like if a YouTuber is essentially being bullied into giving an apology even if they did nothing wrong since an apology isn't the biggest deal in the world I shouldn't really care and I don't it's just content with an opinion I still hold though. I don't know why he says not an advisable move instead of just saying he, he disagrees. It's more the comments underneath that are highly questioning the logic of like this pineapple profile picture guy at McClory3301 said. It's not advisable because he have like two subscribers and he has nearly seven million. And respectfully sir, uh, uh, you have bloody six subscribers. Yeah, I I'm a salty one when I point that out and uh, he, he gets double my life. Next we have this guy at Wilson underscore does underscore stuff. He says I think the reason why your sub is so low compared to Danny Gonzalez is it's not for the reasons you said. It takes on like just very mainstream topics and similar to channels like him, Gooden, Jarvis Johnson that sort of thing. They always take on like the most vanilla inoffensive opinion. But I mean to be fair that's probably why they're successful and why I've barely hit like 400 subs. But because he's funny and entertaining and you aren't. And we have a bunch of definitely Vaven on Twitter being like uh for real bye you clearly them so bad real true <laughs> <laughs> I'm so true correctly and uh, yeah it's definitely not the fact of only been uploading consistently since april yeah yeah we ignore these uh, first three videos uh, they, they, they didn't happen i'm not responding to the genocide comments because regardless of if it was happening october 7th still happened it was still bad and starbucks did nothing wrong by condemning it and additionally again starbucks isn't contributing any revenue to it which you would have known if you watched the entire video instead of commenting like 30 seconds in anyway here's some entertainment from my new favorite youtuber wilson does stuff i might have to copy him in the future Yo, what's up, guys? So today, uh, we are going to be reacting to drinking the M&M potion at 3 a.m. This one's gonna be a cool one. Guys! Today we God, why is this get so loud? M&M potion at 3 a.m. Okay, guys. What is so, we're going to do the Eminem potion. This is really riveting commentary. He's going to be the next big star. <laughs> so, Micah, why are you recording the reaction video in class? Do you not have a home? Yeah, that was a bit harsher. Let, let's move on before I get a community guideline strike. I <laughs> this guy is so clearly like bloody 12 years old. I, I don't even want to dignify reading out his username like I do with everyone else. The, the video is public. You go and read it yourself. He says the reason why Danny Gonzalez has more subscribers than me is because he actually has good videos with understandable speech patterns. C crying right now. You're not wrong. At Alex Fernandez, dash TY7, you just change your default ads, man. It says, This is potentially the worst video I've ever seen. Also, imagine getting a 3k views and 36 likes. Imagine not knowing how to use a determiner in a sentence properly. Uh, very, very, very Also, with uh, the amount of content uploaded to YouTube every single minute being hundreds of hours, I'm pretty sure you can find way worse videos than mine on the internet. I'll just uh, let you search a Johnny Ridlin 2.0 on YouTube and you'll, you'll have a fun time. <laughs> At Starberry Sanrio, tell me your account is run by a white teenage girl without telling me your account is run by a white teenage girl. Anyway, they write 50% of your video is side tangents, 20% is political opinions, 20% is teenage edginess, and 10% is mocking Danny. I don't think I explicitly made political opinions of mine clear in this video beyond the point where I said that. I understood why Starbucks was pursuing the people using what was essentially their logo to make political comments. I do agree that a lot of my videos are side tangents, but uh, I actually think that I've been cutting down 
down on that recently there's a reason why there's a load of videos that are only like nine minutes long but also i can't fit in my epic comedy if i don't get the side tension stone 10 percent mocking danny yeah, I, yeah that's right what do you mean teenagerginess i don't make jokes like deliberately offensive for the sake of it. i'm not like bloody master ugwe sorry okay I'm, I'm gonna kill myself See, Heliophobia is now really dead due to your cringe and this is definitely not an intentionally edgy joke for the sake of comedy. Since you have now killed Heliophobia, you must all make community posts apologizing for this evil conduct, as well as subscribe for reparations. Danny Gonzalez fans have now killed more people than Danny Gonzalez did with the Starbucks cup and also have an infinitely higher body count than Heliophobia, but ignore that, I'm going now too.